What is going on guys? Bangalina here coming back at you with another video today back on MLB the show 18 franchise featuring the Atlanta Braves and it is a very different Braves team. No Ender Enciarte, no Dansby Swanson, uh, no Kurt Suzuki. That's kind of it though. Um, as uh, we are facing today the Chicago Cubs. Nine inning baseball game at home. We're going to go ahead and wear, uh, we wore the alternate home last time. We're going to wear the 72 home jerseys this time. Got Sean Newcomb as our pitcher today. 0-6, 757 ERA. That's way too high. Nah. We're just getting that. Newcomb's getting the start. Are you kidding me? All right. Here we go. I need something big from him. Also, I think it is notable... I think I forgot to turn on game audio for my last game. So we have it this time. I apologize for no game audio last time. Uh, it was probably a complaint in the comments section for episode two. It is what it is. Episode three's got it. I just realized. I'm recording these back to back. Um, and I need Newcomb to be dominant today. I need him to be very, very good. Can't afford any losses. Our record is already bad enough as it is. Carlos Correa going to gun down Javi Baez leading off. Still everything on Hall of Fame difficulty. Pitching seems like it's been a little bit too easy. But, I mean, it's Hall of Fame, right? And it is a franchise series. It's a little bit less about the gameplay. A little bit more about, how, you know, what the team eventually becomes. We get the strikeout there with Newcomb. Looking to get his first win of the season against these Chicago Cubs. Here's KB at the plate. Very dangerous hitter. This is a much more dangerous lineup uh, than what we faced last episode of the New York Mets. This is a dangerous, dangerous team. Chris Bryant's a big reason why, but he is sat down in a hurry. After we hit an above 300 with him. In a 4 for 5 uh, performance. As Nick Markakis will single right back up the middle and bring up Ozzy Albies. And here is the switch hitting second baseman, hitting 252. One home run that came in last episode. He was four for five. I'm going to swing the bat that time. First pitch and fly out to right field. That's a short looking right field. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's a lot of space out there. Maybe we can pull a homer with Freddie Freeman. Hitting 278. His average is up quite a bit since last episode, up to seven home runs as well. Let's see if we can. Uh, at least advance the runner and love a base hit. Here we go, Freddie Freeman. Decent piece of hitting. That's going to be a fly out to left field, unfortunately. As Carlos Correa will come up, runner on first, two away. He's hitting 312 with nine home runs. Having a really good start to the season. Four RBIs in the last three games. Could get two right here with a dinger. We're swinging for it. And we're not going to get it. Fly out to right center field, swing at first pitch. Pretty good pitch to hit, though. Just can't do anything with it. And that's going to be a hit to center field. Wilson Contreras with the single. Ronald Cunha getting the start in center field today. That's pretty notable. Forgot to mention that. I didn't even see it, to be honest. And he's going to cut that off, hold it to a single with that good speed there in center field. Let's pitch for the double play. That is not where I wanted it. I can see why Newcomb's uh, ERA is so high. No good. No bueno. That's going to be a double play. Turn it. Albies to second. Correa to first. Can't get him. Fielder's choice. Runners on first and third with two away. We just focus on the hitter here. And that's going to be a fly out from Quintana. And we are out of the inning. No real damage done. And here is Ronald Acuna hitting 306. Last time we left off, Acuna was at 174 before he brought his average up to uh, 200. Now he's hitting over 300. Attributes still not very good. I guess only way to improve that is to keep hitting with him. And that's going to be exactly that. Base hit with Ronald Acuna. Our first of the game. Second of the game. Yeah, Nick Marcakis. Stealing with Acuna, that's a curveball, and we got it. Acuna grabs second base. 
continuing his awesome rookie year so far. It is still early in the season, but above 300. At least two stolen bases on the year. And I'm going to pop up with Chris Stewart. We'll end the inning. Oh, and two. Jay Hay goes down swinging. We need more of that. Newcomb's numbers are really, really bad this year. And he's kind of supposed to be my ace. He's supposed to get better. He has the potential. We can't have him being trash. He needs to put in some really, really good performances. Get that overall up. But we can get the win here. That's going to be strike three. Baez goes down again. This is his first strikeout that we grounded at earlier, I believe. Let's go fastball, low and in. Try and freeze him. There it is. He's going to be swinging. Ozzy Albi should be there. Fields, throws, and he's safe by a mile. Can we have a little urgency, Ozzy? You don't have the arm? Should never have been a hit. And that's a gap shot. That is a gapper. Acuna's there. He'll throw it in. And that is an RBI double. Cubs on the board first. All right, 3-2 count. Worked it back with Nick Marcakis. Looking to get on base somehow. And we're going to continue to fight. Looking to get that pitch count up. We hadn't really been that patient prior to this inning. Looking to change that. And we will continue to foul it off with Nick Marcakis. And this going to be ball four. Work to walk. That was a tough take. But uh, it's paid off. Now we're on base for Ozzy Albies to switch hitting second baseman. Might want to consider rearranging this lineup a bit. Not really sure yet. Correa could hit three. Freddie Freeman at the four. I don't know. That ball's getting away. Marcakis, get two. Hook slides in there. Got a runner in scoring position now for Freddie Freeman. There's Freddie Freeman. That's a gap shot. Marcakis will score. Freddie Freeman's going to round first and head to second with the RBI double. We got a tie ball game here in Atlanta. Carlos Correa in the exact same situation that Freddie Freeman just saw himself in. A little bit more of a favorable matchup, righty lefty. See what he can do. Nine home runs for him. And there it is. Stay fair. Stay fair. Off the foul pole. Carlos Correa. His 10th of the year. A two run blast to put the Braves up 3-1. to one. What a shot by Carlos Correa. Pulled that one, waved it fair off the foul pole. That was awesome. Drilled it. Ah, uh, Wilson Contreras is going to get a single here. Tried to go to first. I did it in the green. It came up yellow for some reason. Just couldn't get him out at first. Another hit for him here. And Zobrist is going to single as well. Marcakis throws home. We're going to go ahead and cut that off. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Who comes up? It's Jose Quintana. What does he do here? Double play, hopefully. That's clearly a strike. Yeah, that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to say. You have to eliminate the noise. This is a really dangerous situation, but we can get out of it. This is exactly who we want up. And he's gonna single. Deal home, Acuna. One run scores. And this will doesn't get him. Ian Happ scores. And we got a tie ball game. Still nobody out. After Jose Quintana gets that change up up the middle. Jay Hay's an even worse hitter than Quintana, so fucking we should be able to get him out. Or hope so. He's going to drive that one deep to right field. It's Marcakis. Runner should tag, and he does. That brings up a double play situation, though. Not that we didn't have it just a moment ago. He's swinging. Someone better field that. That's a double play. It can't be. All right. We'll take the out at second. That was really odd. Here's Addison Russell. We got to get him out, man. We can't allow the Cubs to take the lead. They just fought back to tie it. 
we are not putting up much of a fight defensively. These ground balls, it's not even really Newcomb's fault. They're ground balls that are getting through. They're weak hits. All that we can ask for is, you know, force weak contact. That's not weak contact. That's a fucking blast. That is a fastball that was taken. Here's Acuna going to field. Throw it in. Get him at home. Albies. No play. Cubs going to go ahead. 5-3. to 3-2 three. Three, count. I'm going slider. Let's get him chasing. Runners move, and that's another hit. Another RBI. We're going to go down 6-3. to three. Newcomb is getting smashed. Another ball. The thing is, they're just finding the gap. It's unfortunate. That's strike two. Finish strong, Newcomb. Likely your last batter. You get out. Punch him out. That's a strike. I'm getting crushed. Oh, and Newcomb really is getting crushed there. As that is a line drive off of his stomach. Another base hit. Another run. And he's not facing Ian Happ. He's done. He was fucking awful. Tony Zitch is coming in now. Let's get out of this inning, man. Fastball. Strike three. Finally out of the inning. Cubs went off. We just could not stop them. Try as I might. Here's Peter Burgess. Bottom four. Oh, two. Get out of here. Dude, there's no power on this team. <laughs> I'm centering up balls and they're not going anywhere. Because it's the damn Braves. This is a rough first season. And that pitch was nowhere near where it was supposed to be. What is that? The onslaught continues here. We got to get these outs. That pitch was just in such a bad location. Quintana's going to bunt. Trying to roll it up. Freeman, there's one. Back to first. Quintana is out. Yeah, keep trying to sacrifice. I'm not letting it happen. Exactly what we needed there. Might want to try getting on top of the baseball a bit more. Way, way too many pop-ups. There we go. Oh, Rizzo makes a gold glove caliber play. Marcakis is done. I thought for sure that was going to be a hit. Rizzo takes one away, and here is Ozzy Albies. I was right on that ball. <laughs> I need a base hit af after that. I do. There's Albies. Ground ball to Bryant. And KB fields throws and guns Albie at first base. Not a great inning. Oh, my goodness. He got every piece of that. That's straightening out. Marcakis doesn't have a shot. That's gone. And the Cubs are going to take a 9-3 to lead. We're going to leave Zitch in. We don't have a lot of other options. We just don't. Don't have a lot of other options. I don't know what Wilson is doing on that one. Showing why pitching is so important. Not that we had great pitchers to begin with before trades. But we certainly don't have any now. Especially not in the bullpen. All right, down by six. Not out of it yet. But it's not looking good. Freddie Freeman ropes one. That's going to be a single, though. But a good piece of hitting there. Getting on base for Carlos Correa, who drove him in earlier with a dinger. Would love more of the same. Oh, my God. That's a double play. Correa just doesn't hustle down the line ever because he has no speed. That sucks. Great start to the inning. And then terrible. And I didn't even miss it by much. Like that, that's... Maybe should be a hit. I'm swinging first pitch on that. That's certainly not getting out. We don't have the power. Fly out to deep right. Strike three. Got Zobris looking. Maybe even went for that. Not sure. Doesn't matter. Result is the same. And Quintana's going to hit in the top of the seventh. That's interesting. 
He's let up three runs at this point. Figure, I mean, his pitch count's kind of low. Figured they'd pinch hit for him, though, at this point. I mean, he has been hitting. I think he has two hits. So I don't even know at this point. And that's, uh, I'm going to walk the pitcher. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's uh, that's not that's not good. Strike three. Jay Hay goes down. I'm telling you, he's worse than Quintana somehow at hitting. It's unbelievable. But uh, the rest of my team is is no mu no better. Not much better. There's Chris Stewart to the gap. Doesn't really have the gap power, though, so he's going to be held to one. Ah, they made it. Slight error. Maybe could add two if we push for that the entire time. We're just going to be comfortable with the single there, and we'll bring in somebody to hit. How about... How about everyone's terrible on my entire team? Christian Cologne, I guess? I don't... I don't know. All right, Christian Cologne... With two outs. Lifted in the air out towards left That's center. a gapper, but again, no gap power. Down. Ian Happ's going to feel that one. And it's another out, despite certainly centering up a ball. And we're going to see if Peter Moylan can go ahead and get us a couple of outs. And Javi Baez is going to single in a right field. First baseman never cover the bag in this game. I wish the first baseman would. Freddie Freeman, in particular, that time. And uh, this Cubs team really, really is hitting well. That's Hall of Fame difficulty. I was talking about it last game. I'm like, eh, it doesn't really hit well. No, they hit well. Mets just suck. This is a Cubs team that has some hitters. They got some killers. And they've been scoring nine runs on us, at least. I say at least because the game is not over, unfortunately for us. Wish it was. Their PCI is just gigantic. It's so hard to get out. It's so, so big. He's going home. Do we have a shot at this? Albies guns him. Baez is out at home, saves a run. Addison Russell advances to second. Ready for another chance. Chris Bryant. But you guys can see. Look, look at after they swing. Look at just how big the PCI is. It's like, how are you not going to hit it? Check this out. Look at the size of the PCI. Like, how can you not get the ball in any portion of that? You're going to hit it if you swing. That's why it's so hard to get strikeouts on this difficulty. And outs in general, it looks like. But we go ahead and snare that one with Camargo. See if we can get Rizzo out. The final out of the inning. Low sinker. There it is. Camargo, the first, gets him. Inning over. We have two innings at the top of our lineup as Quintana is still out there. Only thrown 65 pitches. 3-0 count. This is a hard take here. Down by six. Hard take. Need base runners. It's right down the middle, though. It's going to be ball four, though. It pays off. Albies will reach. Freddie Freeman's on. Two for three. Double single. And here's the lefty-lefty matchup. No double plays. All right. Albies has got second. Double play is off after the pitch in the dirt. 2-1 to Correa. That one is cranked. And caught at the wall. We just don't, we just can't get it out. It's the way she goes sometimes. A home run there really does make this a different game. We'd still be down 9-5, to five, but with two outs, we could still potentially get something going. Uh, and then it'd be less work to do in the, in the ninth inning. Sadly not. Down by six, three outs to get six runs. 
Not possible. Decent start, though. Single from Johan Camargo. You got to wear that, Ronald. Wear it. Should be 4-0. He has no check swing. I tried to tap it, and he just went fully around on a slider. Down. So that is ball four. Acuna will reach. And here is Chris Stewart. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Game is not over. 2-0. and oh. Still probably in no swing mode. And that's going to be 3-0. and oh. Well, nothing can make you question Bases loaded with one out is a pretty good spot. Chris Stewart's only hitting 229. That's going to be a sinker right down the middle. Can't swing 3-0. Can't do it. Three and one. Walk him. Walk Chris Stewart. He's not really a threat to get a hit. One for three today. As we strike two, slider right down the middle. Playing for the walk there. Two strikes in a row. To Ciszek answer with a third in the zone. He does, and I pop out. Rizzo is certainly hugging that line a little bit for not holding the runner on. Obviously wouldn't in this spot, but just fouled that one off down the line. And he was right there. And, this ball swung and, and Preston Tucker field, and this should do it. right to the center fielder. It looked like he was shifted over. He got over there in a hurry, and that's going to be the game. Unfortunately, we lose uh, first loss of the series in terms of actually playing the game. So we're one for one. Only seven hits this game. Um, three runs early, and then we just couldn't string anything together. We don't have the hitters on this team. We don't. Cubs are way too good. But you know who's not? The San Diego Padres. We're going to go ahead and simulate all the way through that date. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Shit don't run well.